Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick from YixRS and today I am showing you how to take some simple ingredients to make a delicious German chicken. We are making a delicious baked chicken with apricot jam. First off, you need a chicken drumstick. So we have here 40 chicken drumsticks that we're going to first marinate with some pepper. I used about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, followed by some onion powder. And with the onion powder, we're probably using about one tablespoon. And then followed by some garlic powder. The garlic powder I usually is probably about like another half a tablespoon as well. Measurements, yeah, I'm not so good with. And then we have some salt. So salt I used probably about one teaspoon of salt. And then you want to mix this baby up. So let's do some mixer. And oh, there it is. We are done mixing. How quick is that? Next, we're going to work on the sauce. So the sauce is actually really simple. First off, you're going to take and you're going to slice some onions. I'm using red onions here. I don't think it really matters if you're going to use red onions or white onions. Use what you have on hand. So here we are trying, well, here I am trying not to cut off my fingers and slicing some red onions. We're going to slice them up, put them aside. And this is a small or medium onion. We're using an entire head of garlic. This particular garlic is called, I believe it's called a purple striped garlic, and it is delicious. We found it the other day, and it actually has a juicier texture and more mild flavors. I am going to use my hand to just go bloop, and I'm able to peel off the garlic just like that. Normally, I have to smash it with my knife, but here I am using my hand again, and the skin peels off. It is a much juicier garlic, which is exciting. Finally, we are going to dice them up. Oh, I wanted it a little bit chunkier so that it has some texture and to also prevent burning. We're going to add the garlic and the onions together. And then we're going to add in just a little bit of red chili pepper flakes. I did about three shakes because we don't like too spicy. And then we mix everything together. You want to make sure that you also just break up those onions so that they just spread apart. Next, we are going to use some apricot jam. Nelson bought apricot jam, didn't know what to do with it. So I said, hey, let's make a sauce. Kind of like marmalade, right? Kind of, not really. But here we are. I added, I think, maybe like five table heaping tablespoons, which actually worked out to be about half a jar of the apricot jam. We're going to mix it up. And then we're going to add some soy sauce. I used about a one and a half tablespoons to two tablespoons of soy sauce. It just gives it a little bit more dimension with the flavor. And now you're going to mix it all together so it's all really nice and combined. If you want to, you can technically taste the sauce right here. Now for parchment paper, and we're going to line our baking tray so that it is a much easier cleanup. Spread them out relatively evenly so there is enough space in between each one. They have been marinating now for about four hours in the refrigerator while I was just doing some other things. So it does take a little bit of prep time only because I want my meat to be very flavorful. All right, I'm going to take some olive oil now and I'm going to attempt to drizzle. And guess what? The drizzle didn't really work out. It kind of glugged around. So then I took a silicone basting brush and I just kind of evenly covered up all the pieces before I laid out my sauce. Here is the delicious apricot sauce. We are just spreading it out evenly, again, using the basting brush just to cover it all up. And if the basting brush isn't good enough, you're going to use your tongs to kind of mushy mash it up all around. So voila, doesn't that look tasty? Take some aluminum foil, poke some holes, and cover up your chicken. You're going to preheat your oven at 350. Yes, it's kind of low, so we're doing it low and slow. You could probably even do a little bit faster, like 375, but I wanted to try the slow method since I did have some other things I had to prepare anyways. I give them a quick baste, pop it back in the oven, and put it at 400 for about another 10 minutes. And voila, here it is. I probably could have left it in for a little bit longer, but you know, everyone's getting a little hungry, so we're going to enjoy. All right, let's test this baby out. Let's see what it tastes like, because that's the most important thing. Was it a little bit dry? Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I thought it was going to be a little bit too uh, dry, but it's super duper flavorful. 
and the sauce is like a little sweet, a little tangy, a little kick of heat because of those chili flakes, um, but nice and garlicky, which is delicious. I totally make this guy. Mm. Amazing. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let us know by clicking that like button. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!